And this is a real big one. Like, if we can get established an appropriate amount of time for working, that really is gonna is gonna be the biggest factor. And I'm talking about working. I'm talking about secular working, like just earning money, right? Earning an income on the rest of the time that you have, because that's that's the the number one thing that probably is gonna eat up a lot of your time when it comes to all your different priorities. Is focusing on how much money you're making. Now, in order to support your family, and in order to, you know, not to be worse than an infidel, you have to support, you have to provide. Sure. And unfortunately now we're living in an economy, like you know, we live in a real rich place, but things are getting more and more expensive and more pricey, and it's getting harder and harder to be able to support your family and stuff like that. But we also, we also as we're gonna see here in, Matthew, in, Mark, in Matthew chapter six, when you're looking at your priorities, when you're thinking about your time, you're thinking about how much do I have to work and, and how much time do I have to do these things. At what point are you potentially over providing for your family? And I'm not saying that in a negative way. Obviously, you know, I know as, as a father, as a husband, hey, I want to provide as much as I can to my family. I mean, I really do. But we still have to maintain a balance. Right? Now look, one of the ways you could provide more is to work your way up to earn more money in different positions and different fields and you know, gain some education here and be like, wow, hey, if I could, if I could learn this, I could move into this field maybe and then earn this much more money. And if I do that, it's not because I want to be filthy rich, it's because then I don't have to work, you know, 10 hours at a job to make X amount of dollars, I can work six hours at a job and make that same amount and have more time, Amen. right? So we want to be wise in our planning, especially in long-term planning in careers and in things like this, because look, we, you know, we should never have an inordinate love for money and no, no love for money at all, but, but you know, time spent just focused on I have to make this much money, but let's be wise about it too, right? And especially the younger you are, consider this, right? Consider, yeah, okay, look, it's good to be working, it's good to be earning, but, but have, try to get a good plan so that you know in your heart, like, hey, look, I could, if I could just make a good salary, then it, it buys me time. It can buy me more time to do other things with my life. And that's, that is valuable too. And these are, these are, this is intentional, intentional ways of, of planning your life and planning your time. And every, you know, you have an immediate and you have short term and you have long term. This is a long term plan, long term goals. But Matthew chapter six, we get this principle of how do we even deal with money and where does that fit into our priorities? Verse number 24, the Bible says, no man can serve two masters. So again, who's number one? Who's the master in your life, right? Do you work? Do you live? Do you, do you, are you here to serve God or are you here to serve money and mammon and things, you know, the, just to go and just get wealth, financial wealth here on this earth? Is that why you're here? Or are you here to serve God? The Bible says, no man can serve masters for either he will hate the one and love the other or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. If you want to get rich in this world, you will not be serving God. Like if you have this desire and this love and this, and this mindset of just saying, I just want to get rich. You're not going to be serving God. You can't. You can't. It's going to demand too much of you and it's going to consume you too much and you're gonna to focus too much on that thing. You're always gonna to have to do so much more work to really get in and to really do that excellent job needed to get to that level of, of riches that you won't have the time to serve God. You just won't be able to do it. 